that little clip from How I Met Your Mother that was the episode called How Your Mother Met Me yes I am wearing a broken skipping rope as a bell so how are you today I'm wearing a t-shirt a drum a hoodie for a thing I am in well that I've left but I just be in it because I've moved up to a different version of it so uh, yeah so today I am out and I'm in the public today I really don't know what I'm going to do today. So, it's Monday. It's Monday today. So, uh, yeah, I've okay. got something to do. Got a little broken toy car here. Race that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to race it. Right. Fix this up. Well, one, two, three. Found number two. And oh, there's a toy car belt. Whoa, that was awesome. I can get it. Go! Whoa! That sucks. Let's see how far I'll go now. Let's see. Ah. This sucks. Not really. I like my toy car. So, um, see in a sec, I'm going to go upstairs. Warning, the rest of this episode might have a bit of, of bad language in it. Q spotlight. change the base so I got rid of the blue bit accidentally not knowing how far this toy would actually be so and here's the daisy chain I made yesterday I was with yesterday I wore it on my head because it wouldn't fit around my neck. It wouldn't go around my neck, so I just, it wouldn't go all the way around my neck. You know, it only got that far around my head, so I just ended up, oh, it broke. Oh, no. Well, that's what happens to dried up. Daisy chains, they break. No, no, I have to pin it. No, I don't. I'm just going to lay it up here. Actually, I'll make another one. I'll make a new one. I will compare the differences to the dried up one and one that is new. Or I could just pin it. Yeah. Into the bin. Hey, guys. Do you guys remember Mr. Lettuce from yesterday? Do you remember him? Here he is. He shrank and dried up. Look, he all shriveled. He's all shrivelly. I'm gonna go make a new Mr. Lettuce. 
Come on, everyone. Let's go find a new Mr. Lettuce. Hold on. I put a Bart sticker on my face. Uh, oh yeah, here's the bit that has coarse language. Thanks, Matt. I knew you'd understand. And you can visit. It's not that far. Of course you can. Getting excited, yeah. Well, if we're not there yet, we still have to get the visas. Let's go to the embassy now. Okay, let's go. See you, Matt. A cheese! I know. Under that hard exterior is another hard exterior. <laughs> Josh, don't make me laugh. Emigrating to Australia. Yes. That's a long way away. I know. That's further than America. <laughs> I know. The other side of the world it is. I fucking know. <laughs> Winnie, don't volunteer for the Samaritans. <laughs> so everyone, what's... Just say this um, quick update. Well, this update that's going to be like 15 minutes long probably. Or 10. Is basically to say that Erlen's reviews are... Uh, it's coming soon. And what I'm doing is Mrs. Brown's Boys. So, yeah. There you go. I have an auntie, emigrated to America. We never heard from her again. Not even a letter. Was this the one that was on the Titanic? <laughs> we never heard from her again. Where are they going in Australia? Somewhere outside Sydney, Poitiers or something like that. Laurie, you missed it at the Christmas party in Foley's. I heard the hypnotist was brilliant and Mammy was really funny. Oh, it was hilarious. What did he get her to do? When he had her under, he said that every time he said the magic word, Mammy would think she was an Alsatian <laughs> dog. <laughs> and she was hilarious. And then he just clicked his fingers and she didn't even remember it. What was the magic word? <laughs> Triplets. <laughs> subscribe button for me so go on hit that subscribe button too late no it's not too late hit the subscribe button I'm not kidding hit the subscribe button please please or I'll play that how I how your mother met me clip again fine I'm playing it Kids, 